Hi, welcome to this channel on magnetic energy, technology principles, applications. This video is a quick little fun video about ancient civilizations. I wanted to honor some on Earth Day, very quickly, some of those ancient civilizations that actually got it right, that actually had a much higher understanding of the universe and how things work than we do today that embraced a more natural etheric model of the universe. And please do not buy into conventional archeology span and all the BS that tries to sell us on this really strange history that's in all the textbooks. There's some excellent professional research and excellent evidence by very, very, well-respected scientists around the world that have documented artifacts from very advanced cultures that are millions of years old these artifacts are and and that's just the tip of the iceberg so please don't buy into all of the <laughs> there's lies deception confiscation uh, denial all these things of evidence that that go against some weird framework that is trying to save some sort of image of history to keep us all locked into some I don't even know what some weird brainwashing of of how things were supposed to be and with how cavemen and everything and this whole idea that we're the advanced civilization you know what I think part of it is part of it is, is they don't want to admit that things were more advanced many many thousands if not millions of years ago and they were making things and constructing things that we can't do today because then it's like well, wait a minute why can't we do that today why can't we make that stuff right now why because the technology that you can make all those great monuments and those pyramids and all these high advanced different types of technology that's been suppressed and hidden and and kept out of textbooks from history the technology that you need to do all that stuff is magnetic energy technology and that's being suppressed so it all kind of works in this whole system of keeping things under wraps let's control the past you know not let people know the truth about humanity and how advanced humanity once was and how and how people used to be integrated into the world and to energy and to each other and how they integrated resonance and sound into elements and element combinations and it allowed them to do things like in move items with sound and vibration and their consciousness levitate objects imprint on water control the movement of water and and, and really process stones and granite and things in a way that we can't process them today with a level of precision that didn't involve a bunch of lathes and and different you know like lasers but it involved magnetic current and natural etheric current involving consciousness and the ability to change the molecular structure and the the strong force of objects and actually unlock elemental structure so that they could carve and create with incredible precision and accuracy not only that but these these were civilizations that long before documented history in documented history long before that where they they understood our part our part in this play our our responsibility to the planet our connect interconnectivity with nature and animals and the universe and with each other and how coming together in ceremony and coming together increased the power of our consciousness and increased our ability to perform incredible feats that today would seem totally impossible by conventional laws of physics which I'm sorry to say are just flat out wrong and the interesting thing also that's happening today in our civilization is we have this this soup of EMFs not only from just hundreds and even thousands of satellites that are just bombarding the surface with electromagnetic activity but then all around the surface and and what does that do one of the things that that does is it suppresses our ability 
to tap into etheric energy and to feel the etheric flow of energy, not only through matter and stones and rock and crystals, but through ourselves and our interconnectivity with each other. So it suppresses that ability that ancient civilizations had that allowed them to have this incredible intuitive awareness of what was happening energetically throughout our world and then throughout the solar system and then think about their incredible ability to track the movement of stars and planets and our galaxy without having Hubble without all these incredible powerful telescopes that we have around the world they did it with this innate ability they did it with the ability to communicate with other beings from other worlds and to understand their place in that relationship. Now, I do want to briefly touch on there at at when a society is at a low level of consciousness and a low level of vibration, we tend to interpret data in a very dark way. And so there's been a lot of interpretation of data from past civilizations that have tried to talk about the enslavement of humanity and how there were evil forces and evil doers and 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 there may be some truth to that a little bit but you've got to keep in mind though that even in that field the tendency is to misinterpret the data to try to add this good and evil thing to to everything including our past when there are higher enlightened societies that have been watching over this planet for eons, eons, millions, millions of years, and and not allowing certain things to happen. And so, yes, there may have been a lot of influence. Was it this, is, is humanity under this incredible harsh rule of slavery from these other worlds that are trying to mine for gold and all this stuff? Probably not. There's a, there's a lot of data out there that suggests certain things that have happened, but we've got to be so careful about misinterpreting that data and, and adding things to that data that weren't there or putting a spin on that data that tends to fall in line with things with other writings to, to try to give a dark view of the earth past. There were civilizations in our past that were quite enlightened and they should be honored on Earth Day because they knew how to live in harmony with the planet. They had their time and and they moved on, but at the same time, they had incredible technology. They had an incredible understanding of the universe and, and a display of magnetic technology, vibration, resonance, and how to integrate that with the planet, with our elements, and at the same time, respecting the planet and all life on it while doing that. And so, just please be cautious when it comes to interpreting data that is supposedly revealing what really happened in our past, because advanced civilizations, if they're using magnetic technology, first of all, they have zero need to conquer another planet when they have the technology to get here. And the technology to get here is going to be etherically, magnetically based, most likely 99.99% of the time. And once they have that technology, they already have unlocked secrets that give them the ability to basically end their own level of scarcity, not need to rape other worlds and get their resources, not need the, without the need to enslave others. And so with that, there's a lot of monitoring and a lot of very high level beings that monitor that type of progression and what's happening. So please be cautious about that. But at the same time, let's honor the societies, the civilizations that are past that have done this incredible work and, and they've left things and clues. They've left sacred geometrical clues. They've left all kinds of technology that if we could, if it was free for us to actually examine it, it wouldn't just get confiscated every other time it's, <laughs> it's discovered. We would see embedded in that in that at a subatomic level, the mapping and the technology that, that that was used to do that and how they were able to manipulate structures and molecular structures and change them, those molecular bonds, make them easier to work with, levitate objects and all of that amazing stuff that they could do in the past. And so 
with this really weird and brief video. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share this, and I'll see you again.